So, I've been playing a little bit of Hearthstone and I've been messing around with a, a new priest deck. I'm sure it's something that's been done before, but um, I've had quite a, little, quite a lot of success with it, surprisingly enough. And I don't usually have very much success in this game. It's based around um, a lot of silence, ancient watchers, and youthful brewmasters and things like that to shut down the enemy and give me a give me board control. And a lot of minions that just, you know, have big health and big attack and don't really do much else. I don't like this starting hand so I'm going to replace that. Slightly better but never mind. So, I'm going to play this even though it's probably a bad idea and hope for a silence in a few turns time so I can use the Ancient Watcher. Oh, he's passed the turn along, that's fine. So I'm going to play the Ancient Watcher and attack. Now, I've got multiple sources of silence. There's probably about four or five different ways. There's the, um, the Owl there's this card that just has silence on it. There's that one, but that one's not useful in this situation, so that's a bit naff. I'm going to wait one more turn. i try to attack with my blooming Ancient Watcher then. That would have been silly. Just counted his shot with my heal. Who is he going to attack with that? Good choice. Hmm. Probably my best interest to get Yeti out. No silence yet, that's kind of frustrating. I'm not sure why I'm carrying Master Spell. I'm not sure if it's all that valuable as a card. It doesn't really do much. Ooh. Um my best move is probably that and then this to save the yeti from certain destruction so that yeti can come back out with full health now and I have a 5 farm on the bot I like the brewmasters, they can be quite tricky Trixie ooh he hasn't killed anything with that Ah, maybe he's got some sort of trap. Um, that's not good. Maybe we should wait. Yeah. I'm going to give my watcher some health. Ooh, that's probably a bad idea because of the silence, but... Yeah, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. I'd rather use that to attack a minion anyway. And these two minions are particularly nasty in certain circumstances. Oh, I didn't want that. Didn't want that at all. Never mind. Well, what's he going to do now? <laughs> and that hyena's going to gain some power. Well, both are. Lovely. That was a good move by him then. Still no silence. Well, I mean, I suppose this is when we can use the mass dispel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Ooh, and we can silence that now. See? It works. The system works. Um, so we can kill this one. We can kill this one. And we can kill that one and then we can heal our ancient watcher perfect well it could have been better but could have been worse yeah hunters are all about the beasts bringing out the beasts I really want to know what that secret is I imagine it's one of those traps that damp deal two damage to everything. 
That was nice. Still, I can deal with his minion there. So I'm not too worried. We will bring out a Yeti and a Watcher. In the hopes that I receive a silence next turn. An Owl or a Spellbreaker. Or even one of those random cards. That'd be fine. Ooh, not nice. What's he doing it to? Yeah. That's also not nice. We we was hoping for the Yeti then, you could tell. Okay. Just a card draw there. <laughs> and then a rearrange of the, the cards. So I'd be worried with that one about getting three really good ones and just like having to let something go. Another secret. So we can pretty much guarantee that I'm boned at this point. We might as well attack and see what happens. Yep, figured that would happen. Everything's dead. He's got another secret there. Um, I'll play the Yeti. It's going to be one of these... Yeah... That's fine, I can deal with that. I could have healed the, the bloke, but I think I might want to use my silence for an enemy minion. I feel like he might bring something big and beefy out soon. Silence is really powerful against like the legendary minions that they can play. I like to get rid of the eye. Or to use against something like that. I wouldn't be against that. <sighs> or to use against that. Ooh, I've got two two um, places for silence here. Four, five, six. Um, <sighs> okay. Five. That's going to die against that no matter what. Ooh, okay. We can deal with that. We can deal with it. Bring out the Spellbreaker. Remove the minion. Destroy that. Heal. It's all about removing those minions. I could do with a Northshire Cleric to give me some decent draw. Does he have something to come with that? Ooh, okay. Unleash the Hounds. Not bad. It's going to deal with the Yeti. Interesting play. Now I'm down to one minion. And he has two. Right. I mean, we... We don't want to get rid of... Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do is... Silence that. Um, attack his face, and then bring that back home. And then heal myself. Not too bad. He's still got minions, but maybe I should have dealt with that wolf. I will this turn. Interesting. He's got another secret which I'm not a fan of. Okay. So we can immediately see what this secret is. 
That's fine. I don't give a shit. Because I'm going to do this. And then this. Oh. And as you can see, he gave up. Isn't that wonderful? So I think he just got frustrated there and left. With my epic control. Uh, let's have another go and see how it fares. But I think you get the gist of it now. There's lots of ways to shut down the enemy's plans using the silence. Like multiple areas for silence. And a lot of my strong minions that I'm using is like Boulder Fist Ogre and Yeti, which don't have any words on them. They, they can't be affected and they don't have any, you know, weaknesses apart from the fact that you know they don't have any powers. They're just generally quite strong minions. Keep the North Shy Cleric. It's often a good strong play against certain classes. And especially against a priest who might want to heal his own units and thereby give me a card draw. He's probably got like a shadow word Bane or something like that though. I'll be surprised if he didn't. What's he going to do? Big Pete. Big Pete going to... Oh! Mirror move. So the problem there is... I need to not... Allow him to heal. Well, what we can do is that... And then remove. And hope he doesn't kill my minion the next turn. He could heal me. He's got two mana. Oh, he's letting it go. He's letting it slide. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. We'll um, get some card draw. That's a beautiful play for next turn. Unless he plays something worth silencing. And that can't do more than three attack. Shadow Word Pain. Ooh, bringing out the mighty Shield Master. I want a Shadow Word Pain at this point. Well, the Yeti is probably my best choice, but that means the North Shy Cloak can't attack. Now, I'm not really worried about that, to be honest. I could silence that, but I'd rather keep the silence. Yep, yeah, bringing out the Yeti and ending my turn. He might attack the Cleric at this point, in which case he's made a good trade, but... I didn't see that I had a whole lot of options there. Ooh, big beefy buff there. Who is he going to attack? Yeah. Good job. Um, I wonder, with the cleric's blessing, would that... No, it wouldn't, would it? In any case, I'm probably better off debuffing it. And it's still at five. And then we can remove that minion and heal up. And he still has to deal with my Yeti. Or he could just make a good trade against the owl. And keep that minion in operation. That wasn't pleasant. Although he probably should have attacked, attacked first. Hmm. Okay. Not not very good players here actually available. Um. I mean, that wouldn't be bad. There's nothing else out there. Um. I don't really want to do anything else until I know what's the score, so I'm going to leave it at that. I don't really want to use my Spellbreaker because the 4 attack is much better used against something a bit beefier. I don't really have anything else. Templin Force is far too powerful to just straight up play. It's got potential there. Going straight for the face. 
because he knows I've got to deal with the taunt. Okay. Probably best off attacking that with the silence. Or I could buff that up three. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Then he has to deal with more. He could trade with the shield master. The um the engineer's not gonna do much. It's not enough health unless he heals it. No. Nope. He's just gonna let it die. He <laughs> He could have saved its life, and he didn't. That's baffling to me. Utterly baffling. Um, okay. Here's a good move. Coming right up. It's like a mirror move of what we did last time. Don't want to waste a Shadow Word Pain on that. when I can just remove it. With very little worries. Light spawn. I can silence that and just shut it down straight away, so I'm not worried. Oh, and he's putting lots of um, effort into it. He shouldn't have done that this turn, really, should he? Oh, and more. He's buffing it to hell. I'm just going to go boom. Right, right. Or I could play a minion to silence it. That's probably my best bet. But that is what I'm going to do. Although, first, we're going to face us manipulate it. And then we're going to play a minion to silence it. I can hear him weeping. I've removed his minions. And now next turn we're going to do some big damage. It's going to have to do better than that. Shadow of Death, that's fine. Not worried about that one. Hmm, okay. <laughs> well, I've got multiple options here. Of course I'm going to go for this. And then I'm going to go for this. We may as well get rid of that and then attack him. And then we'll heal that guy and leave it at that. He might have a mind control now. Yep. I've got a shadow of death to deal with that though, so don't worry about it. I'm not running mind control in this deck, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, so we'll just remove that. Fine, have it. Whatevs. Um, we'll attack and then we'll bring that back into my hand so I've got another silence option. I don't know why I'd want that to be honest but I've done it. He may bring something out quite interesting. Yeah, so, um, oh, what's he doing? He knows I've got silence. I think I'm fighting against an absolute knobhead. <laughs> I just, I, I'm baffled. I'm, I find that utterly baffling. I'm not even sure what to do with myself at this point. I'll just get rid of it. Why not? <laughs> you don't play the cards before you're going to attack. 
You do it afterwards, when it's ready. The desperate flingings of a dying man. Uh. Thank you. I won't say well played back, because that really wasn't well played by him in the slightest. So, third time's a charm. Let's give this one more try. See if we can get a hat trick. It's very possible. I am playing casual, so there's a lot of complete idiots in this. But nevertheless, hopefully we'll fight against somebody with a little bit of respect. We'll cleep the cleric. I said cleep, then that's weird. That's nice removal for some of his minions. That's not great, but it'll come in handy later on. As long as we can get some card draw from the cleric. Fair enough. We're against the matrix. Which pill? The red pill? Or the blue pill? He's just letting me have a turn, that's fine. Um, okay, well, not much we can do about this. Just gonna have to wait it out. I don't even have a three mana card to use next turn, but... If it does damage to the cleric, then... Or is he gonna try and remove it somehow? What's he got? What's he got in store for us? Okay. That's not a problem. I'm not worried about that. Bish. Bash. Bosh. Perfect. Not the card I wanted, but... We've just traded a card. And I've still got minion presents on the board. The good old questing adventurer. See, <laughs> I've got multiple silences, so he's... He might be in trouble. Um... Okay, we'll get some card draw off the questing adventurer. Ooh, I should have played the fucking Northshire cleric, shouldn't I? Anyway. Oops. I could have had like two cards then. It doesn't matter, I've got quite a lot of cards, but that was a really stupid mistake. I can't believe I didn't see that. I didn't think ahead, I didn't think, oh, what am I going to do after I heal? That's one of my problems. Ooh. Okay. What else is he going to play? I mean, we can immediately shut down the, um, the questing adventurer. It's turn five, so I've got a Holy Nova. Okay. And he's going to attack that. That's fine. It might be just a holy nova time. That seems like a fair trade. Yeah. Remove the board presence. And we'll start afresh with some big powerful minions. I've got a feeling I'm gonna play the ball of fist this turn, or maybe I should play the chill wind. the fist probably. Ooh no. We will silence the golem. And leave it at that. Always nice to silence a golem. So they don't get that dastardly extra card. And you can't kill that unless he uses a weapon. That's fine. I'm glad he's using that weapon against that minion. Now we will... Ooh. That has potential. Um, I feel like I want four, five, six. Okay. We'll give him two options. Two, four, fives to, to think about. He can deal damage for five, but... Hopefully that will just 
you know, bait out that and get rid of it. I use words then like I knew what I was talking about, but I really don't. Right, he's dealing with the Yeti. Fair enough. Maybe I should have used the Polterfist Ogre. Ooh, what's he going to do with these? Who is he going to attack? My face. He's not worried about that, whereas he should be. He could have done some damage to it. Um, okay. So we're probably best off dealing with the 4-3. Like so. We can probably heal ourselves, but that's only two. The Enforcer will give that three more, so we're going to do that. I feel that was the strong play. A few minions here. Who will charge one? What's he going to do? Who is he going to attack? Quite a few minions here to deal with, but it'd be nice if I had a Holy Nova. He's getting rid of my Ancient Watcher. And dealing some damage, killing the owl. Ooh, and beefing it up. Okay. We can silence that still, can't we? No, we don't. We don't have a silence. Um, well, my best option is probably this. You've seen me do this before. If he's got some low cost minions, he might cause me some trouble. Uh, three, yeah, three sack or less minions. But I feel I've got a strong presence and a good card advantage. That's not a very efficient use of that card. Um, why is he thanking me for that? Alright, that's nice. That's fine. Um, well, the best option here would be to deal with that and deal with that. I feel like it's time to bring up the ball of fist. Heal that. Now we've got a big card to worry about and we can make a copy of it. Essentially letting me have like three of one card in one deck, which is quite nice. With the five cost basis manipulator. I like to use it anything above six. Hmm. I would have silenced that one, it's got plus three health, but never mind. He's really going all out now, he's using everything he's got, which isn't much. That was an error. He's just killed himself. That was a rather boring fight. Right. One more. Because, you know, it has to lose sometime, this blooming deck. It can't continue like this forever. Can it? To be fair, I've only lost once or twice with this deck so far. I can't speak to its mana curve or whether some of the cards are efficient or not. There's probably quite a few changes I could make. The Master's Spell is probably the one I'll get rid of. If I'm going to um, really go into detail with the deck. What else? I mean, the Owls, the low cost silence, so I like to have them, but they are pretty shit. Yeah, speaking of the devil. We're gonna we're gonna keep him though because he might be handy against a warlock. This could be better. <laughs> we're gonna have to wait quite a while for these to be useful. Never mind. At least I have the coin. He's probably going to play a taunt minion, that demon thing that keeps coming out. Nope. Um, well, we'll just pass the turn on. No use using that. It has no value, apart from the fact that it can silence and do two damage. 
Yeah. I could heal him. That would not be great. No. At least next turn we've got the coin so we can um, bring out the Yeti. But we have rather unfortunate there. He's not even had a turn yet. He didn't even have a card draw. That's weird. Okay. Yeti. That was a mistake, he says. <laughs> I'm not sure how. Unless he was referring to the fact that he didn't do a card draw. I'm still not 100% certain why that was a mistake. Um, okay. Well, you know what I like to do in these situations. I like to do damage. And then I like to... Um, save his life. <laughs> didn't expect that, did he? Ooh, I didn't expect that. Oh well, a trade. Oh. Ah. Ha ha ha, Lord of the Arena. Okay, um, we can remove that, but... We'll bring out the Yeti again. He'll be... He'll be able to deal with it, won't he? That's fine. You'll have to use either those two minions or he won't. He'll just attack my face. I don't know what he's going to do. But at least neither of those can actually damage me. That's a nice minion. No, he's just going to attack my face. That's fine. Holy Nova would deal with that and take the shield off, but I'd rather use a Silence. We could shadow word pain that, silence that, and kill that. Options, options, options. Or I could give that three health and kill that. But then that one's still operational. No, it. I feel like I need to do this. At least now I only have a four five to deal with, even if that is still quite annoying. Hopefully he plays, he fights against the Yeti and kills it, and then plays a bunch of low cost minions, and then I'll just <laughs> haul in over them all. That would be the ideal situation. He's just shadow bolted it, lovely. Not what I wanted to happen. I'll bring out that just because it's got lots of health and might survive a little bit. Um, we can't do lethal damage to any of this, even with smite. I'm going to have to leave it for now. This warlock's causing me some sh troubles. I need to gain the upper hand somehow. Oh dear. Shadowbolt's a powerful spell. So he's going to be able to do lethal damage with one of those minions. Okay. And he's going to attack the ship's engine. That's gone. And now I'm at 10 health and this is um, getting quite dire. This may be when I die. This may be my end. Uh, my undoing. I can, we can kill that with with that guy. And that'll leave us with four mana for a yeti, so I'll, I'll do that. Why not? Did I just silence myself? Oh, Christ, that would have been bad. Um, yep. Yeah. And let's hope he doesn't have something that just like kills me instantly. Down to 10 health is not good. Maybe I should have healed, but I really need some board control or else 
No amount of healing will do me any good. That wasn't pleasant. For... Oh, God. I could really do with a shadow of death. Warlocks can be surprisingly powerful. He's going to attack straight on my face, isn't he? God almighty. Now, if I don't deal with this now, we are, I am screwed. I think I'm screwed. Unless... Two damage. This is my only hope. That was the only thing I could do. And then I'll play that. It doesn't have anything else, but it's better than having nothing. And nothing to use it with, but I don't really have anything like a silence or anything now, so... Minion presence is paramount concern. And I really need to start healing myself, because you could have a spell or something hidden away that would just obliterate me. He's thinking though, so he doesn't have something to play instantly, unless he does, unless he's just like, being a dick. Which, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, he's not worried about life tap at this point. Okay. Well, we can deal with that, and we need to because we're in massive trouble. Yeah. Massive trouble. I'm healing myself purely out of self-preservation. Um, I'm not going to play that, purely because I don't want to return any of these minions to my hand. Oh. Maybe I should have healed my minion. Oh, lovely. Okay. Um, for five we can survive. I'm going to have to play this, I think, because I need health for my hero. I'm not going to play that just yet. Unless I have enough mana to bring it straight back out. If he has another Hellfire, that'll be bad. Ooh, the Molten Giant. This may be it. Ooh, oh, oh, that felt so good. That's exactly what we needed. Then we will attack. Um, heal ourselves. And leave it at that for now. He's desperate for cards now to give him some sort of power against me. Will that save him? Probably not. Well, <laughs> maybe. We've got two smites so we can deal with this if I heal. Time to pay, play the Boulder Fist Ogre. I really feel like I'm at a knife edge here. He's bringing out some big minions. And our health is more or less even now. He's really struggling. He's really desperate for something to use against me. Right. So the first thing we're going to do is heal that. Then we're going to kill that. Then we're going to kill that. And then we are going to return this to my hand. We've got six. So we can give the Boulder Fist some help. Oh, that was a strong move. 
and it's um, kill damage now, unless he plays something. Pen Creeper, going to slow down my progress a little bit. Ooh, two taunts. Now he's on lower health than me. Interesting. Maybe I can kill him. I've got a silence. If I... Yes. Unless they're well played. We deal with that. We silence the Fen Creeper. Boom. Ooh, that was really touch and go. But gaining board control really saved me then. Just, you know, not worrying about attacking him, but dealing with everything that he tried to throw at me. It really made the difference. So there we have it. That's my crazy Ancient Watcher Silence shutdown priest deck. Quite enjoying it at the moment. I hope you enjoyed watching watching it in action. Let me know if there's a similar build out there or if there's um some changes you think I should make to it. And um, that's me, miscellaneous nonsense, over and out.